Shalom Akim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha, Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us this truth. And honors and citations to the elect. May Al Bashim Al Shai protect us and allow us to endure into the very end. Alright, so. Before I just want to get into this lesson, man. I just want to say. You know, prayer is powerful. Alright. Real, pure, concentrated prayer. Is the most powerful thing, man. Alright. Alright. That's the most powerful thing that uh uh that's pretty much on, on, on earth. You know? Just all together the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Al Shai. And then prayer is more powerful than money. I'm not saying just quit your job and just, you know, be a bum. The scriptures you know, speak against that. Scripture says it's better for you to to uh, uh to die than to live a bigger's life. You know, but I just I just want to say that, man. But anyway, what this the, the, this lesson I want to get into pretty much is going into what I want to tell this is just from I'm gonna tell this from out of nowhere. You know. Because the whole full elect, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, we are going to attain power, true power, and it's going to seem like we got it from out of nowhere, man. You know? To the world. Like, yo, where they come from? Because, why? The scriptures say we're the off scour of the earth, we get scoffed. We get mocked, you know, we get threatened, try to get, uh, uh, you know, they try and scare us, you know, so when we rise to power through the spirit and power, you how about Shemal Shai, when we're surviving out here as a man of the Lord, staying strong, like how the scriptures say, when the when the flood beat, the flood beat upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. So that shows that what? This house is strong. This house withstood uh, uh, the test, you know? This house is proven. I can sell it for extra now. If, if I want to sell it, this house made it through such and such hurricane. I can sell it for extra off of that. Right? So, that's going to be us. That is us. You know? Lord willing, we be the whole full elect. And when these people see this, they're going to say, dang. So, let me get the scriptures to furthermore expound upon, you know, what I'm speaking about. This is a Proverbs 18 and 12. It says, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty and before honor is humility see so we're in the humility stage harmless as a dove wise as serpents you know so we're in the humility stage the lowly stage right now that's why people feel oh dang I forgot I forgot who, who it was Oh, yeah, the brothers in uh, D.C., when them little ninjas felt that they could just come up all, all up in the camera, smile, joke around, be ninjas. And the and the elder said, y'all wouldn't do that to, you know, these ninjas down there. You know, you wouldn't do that to the so-called white man. But they feel like they could do that to us because we're in a stage of humility. We're lowly right now. People think that we ain't nothing. 
Okay? People think we're just bugged out. People think we ain't about shit. And them little ninjas was the prime example down there in D.C. But then when we attain this power through the spirit power, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, to be able to defend ourselves and to be able to eat and drink in that day, Lord willing, our families as well, if it be the spirit power, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, it's, it's going to come from out of nowhere. And they're going to be like, oh, you know, oh, snap. You know, that's if they happen to run across one of us. Oh, snap. Yo, he his his eyes is going to be his eyes is going to be open, open wide as wide as possible. And it's going to seem like, yo, they came from out of nowhere with with, with it. Because they they were in a stage of humility. You know, they were lowly. And now and now look at them, man. OK. So, again, before destruction, the heart of man is hardy and before honor is humility. OK. So humility first and then comes the honor. You see that in the honor, we're going to be honored with power. With an increase of faith, spirit, uh, a spiritual powers, Lord willing, man. See, let's get a, uh, yeah, I made a little list here. Wisdom of Solomon chapter five. And I'll get to the point for time's sake. Verse, get all these, try and get all these scriptures in. Wisdom of Solomon five and two. When they see it, of course you can start at the top. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for. See? Because remember, you got people that think that the small hats, they're the chosen. You know, matter of fact, I'm watching the show um, Shameless on Netflix. You know, and discretion is advised because, of course, you got modes in it. Right. But I came across a part where this girl says. She was helping out these old folks. And the lady told her, oh, bless you. God loves you. And you know what this ninja woman said? She's dark skinned and she and she's pretty, man. But you know what she says? God don't love me. If he did, he would have made me white and rich. See? So even our own people. Thinks that they're not the chosen, that they can't be the ones who the Lord, uh, uh, um, you know, who the Lord loves. And that's actually in the scriptures. Brothers know Malachi, what's that, the first chapter? Where Jacob said, wherein has thou loved us? Like, the Lord don't love us, you know, just because we're constantly getting punished. But that's for, for our own our own wrongdoings, man. So the point is, Jake can't even see themselves being being those people. So how much more us as 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 the Israelites? We're the last people who they who they think is gonna come into serious pure power, man. They think the small hats will get it before us. They think Elon Musk will get it before us. They think even the five hundred one. Hashtag C three dudes up in the uh up in the in, in the in the harlot houses they think that they'll get it before us. See, so we're in a state of humility. We're in a state of being looked past, right? And that's fine because we know better. They don't. So let's stay lowly. Let's stay humble. Let's stay getting. You know, a uh, 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 looked past as far as being those men that's gonna come into power next. You got, you got, yo, yo. People think that China, our own people too. Oh no, China. Oh, they taking over Africa and the West Indies, homie. They next to rule. You know, 
Keep looking past. Keep looking past us, man. And I got some more scriptures that's going to get into it. It says, and they repenting and groaning. See, well, this is one here as well. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. <laughs> Driving past laughing. Then you got the one dude. Oh, oh, he's super cool. He'd be the one that stick his head out. Yo, y'all ninjas is bugging, you know, and then all his other friends, <laughs> you know. See, then they're going to be like, what? This was he? And then what they going to say? Verse four, we ain't fools. Told you not to mess with them, man. You know, we fools accounted his life madness. I mean, in today's today's terms, they account us to be bug outs. Yo, they bugged out. Yo, they walling. You know? And his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Mosai and his lot among the saints? See? So that's another scripture going to tie. We're overlooked. But then we're gonna come into this new found power from Yahweh Shimei was shy. And then they're gonna be in shock. Let's get another one. So come on, man. Let's stay lowly. Stay, stay sleeping on us. But we know better than y'all. In the meantime, we the one we getting built up to come into rulership. We getting built up, man, to become kings and priests. You know, become leaders, become true men of the Lord. All right. We getting built up behind the scenes, man. This is being tested by Yahweh Basham to see if we're worthy enough to fulfill that role. This is Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her. Which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? And she don't have to physically say it to say it, boy. You know, if you happen to tell your woman about the truth and then she commit adultery on you or she leave you for college. You know, abort your, uh, uh, abort your kid. You know, just dip out, leave on, jump. To another state on you. Get ch put child support on you. Whatever she does to violate. That's what she's saying. You ain't no man of the Lord. You know. Lord ain't uh, dealing with you. And you remember. Aaron and. Miriam got in trouble for that. For trying to pretty much. Uh, downplay. Moses Moses position and Moses relationship with the Habashim Ashai. You know, and, and, and the Lord loves us as well. So you will get in trouble for trying to downplay our position with the Habashim Ashai. To where you're gonna say, Oh, where is the Lord thy power? But to where what to where this is gonna happen, mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be charting down as the mire of the streets. See? So her end result is going to be charting down, getting trampled over. Chewed up, spit out. While we're sitting there looking at her. Lord willing to spin payout by Shmashai. And she gonna see us with a glow. With power. You know? As a man of the Lord, a true man. Brave and bold with faith and strength in Yahweh Shemashai, steadfast. And she gonna say, "Damn, you know." She gonna like, "Damn, I messed up. I I slept on him. I'm gonna be honest. I messed up. You know, I'm sorry. Up oh, too late. See, so this is just another example of us." Getting, getting all slept on, man. All right. Well, that's not even about that. That doesn't even matter. The real title, you know, going back to the title, you know, what I'm trying to get into is how we're going to come from out of nowhere with it. You know, we're going to come from out of nowhere. So, yeah, you know, pretty much get slept on, you know, but we're going to come from out of nowhere with newfound power by 
Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, I got one more. The bum camp. The bum camp. The bum camp, y'all. You know? But it's going to be the bum camp. It's the bum camp that's pleasing you, Howl Bashem Al Shai. It's the bum camp that's going in. You okay? The teachings, the prophesyings through the spirit power, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And it's going to be the who you ignorantly call the bum camp that's low willing going to receive power from Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, the sincere, hopeful elect among GMS, man. And this is my last scripture. Let me get to the point because I'm already at 16 minutes. Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part to the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. So when we get put through that fire and it's revealed. Oh, man, this is actual real gold. You know. They're going to see it. They're going to see that we were actual real gold. Right? And then I'm like, damn. We fools. Hey, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter said it best. We fools. Accounting their life is madness. And now look at them. Numbered among the children of the saints. Okay? And it's all going to come from out of nowhere with it. Because remember, these dudes think that they're going to get the Vicky's Venom. The black jello, like the brother from Las Vegas said. And they're going to continue on for more and more generations. And ride off into the sunset. Right? But that's not the case. Thank Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that that's not the case, man. You know? So, little woman, man, it's edifying, and I'm going to say Shalom.